All right, everyone, and welcome back. This type of video is a bit different. So in this video, I'm going to try to explore the new update and uh, try to think about new ideas and stuff that you can actually do with the new update. There are a few improvements as well and new missions as well. So let's look into it. So first of all, we're going to try to test the new missions, which when you go in the mission tab, you can actually check it on the hunting missions. So if we click on it, we can actually choose which monsters to kill. So let's try on the level 2, right? We're going to try to kill uh, stray dogs and see what's going to happen. And let's see what the reward is for level 2. We can actually skip later on. Okay, so we get in experience and armor. And we can actually adjust it to my level. But we can actually abandon. So what I would suggest everyone to do is to abandon the quest. So you can actually get to level 70. And we got level 4 as you can see. You have to choose which one you want to kill. Go back in the quest and abandon it. And do this until, let's say, level 70. And we're going to see what's going to happen. I want to suggest you pressing on the adjust on the level. Because if you press on adjust level, you're going to skip all the levels and you're going to jump straight to 119. So I want to suggest doing that. Just press on abandon until you feel comfortable with the level. So I would suggest from level 70, 75 maybe. Let's try it out and see what are the rewards which they are changed. So a good tip on skipping the quest very fast is to use the enter button on your keyboard because when you use your enter keyboard the first option will be always selected with the enter button so even on the abandoned one it's still the first one as you can see it's abandoned you don't want to use your uh, mouse otherwise you might pass by mistake on the adjust level so press enter as soon as you feel comfortable with the level mission i will uh, stop at level 70 and try to kill a few mobs Another feature that I noticed is that when you kill a mob in the quest, it tells you in the chat how many you've defeated so far and remaining. So you don't need to open, always open the quest tab so you can check on the hunting mission. It tells you in the chat. I got one left and then we can check what is going to be the reward for the level 6970. And there it is, the hunting quest and it's completed. And the reward is Sun Elixir as one pieces and 80k. It's not bad, you know? It's much different than it used to be. I don't remember exactly what was the reward for this one, but at least now you can actually skip it. So at the quest level 91, we have the Gnoll General. And if you click on the quest, it will show you where he's located on the map. Uh, let's see the reward after completing it. 1% uh, experience and Dragon God chest. One pieces. Contains five lots of four different Dragon God items. Oh, that is pretty good. So if you go in the hunting mission and press adjust the level, it will pretty much give you the level 100 one. So you have to go straight up to level 100. If you wish to do the past ones, you can't go back. So make sure you don't do this mistake. I'm going to do this because I don't really care about it. But there are some good prizes on these hunting missions, like Dragon God Attacks or God Life. There's a bunch of stuff that you might want to get. So make sure you decide that before doing so. Okay, so for research purposes, I've added uh, two accounts that I have level 100. They both have the same quest, so I'm kind of curious. Would I be able to complete the quest if I kill on a Lycan? The same mobs, like the Orchao Warrior, or it won't work? So let's see. Okay, so it doesn't work. It's a nice test, you know. I was curious if it works. However, it works on the Lycan. So I get it on the Lycan, but not on the Warrior. Okay, let's quickly see what we get on the level 100. We got 50 and Dragon Guard chest. And let's see how the weapon looks. So we don't have, we don't get a two-hand weapon though, unfortunately. I was expecting a two-hand as well, but it looks like we get Poison Sword regardless. On Ninja, we could have got a bow from the past, but I was expecting on Warrior to get uh, a two-hand weapon, but unfortunately we haven't. Another thing that I've noticed is this open store room has been changed. It was on the top. It's kind of confusing now. Hopefully they're going to change it back. It's a bit confusing because I always press on the first one, but then I get the exchanging. So let's see if I can actually put it in storeroom. No, I cannot put it in storeroom. Let's see if I can fit it to pet. Can I fit it either? Can I sell it though? I can sell it easily for zero yang. This is how it looks. It has no sparkling. And you can sell it. I forgot to mention that as soon as you complete a level 74 or above the quest from the hunting mission, you will receive this weapon as well. Level 2 completed and we get pretty much the same thing. We've got a dragon god chest we get five or different items right so if we open it let me see what is the god attack so this is the god attack if i open it i'm gonna get five of each beautiful let's see now what kind of weapons does lycan get 
So we completed this one and we can choose the temporary weapon and we get the 75 one. Kind of the same average damage and skill damage. So I'm assuming all of them will be the same, even the bow or uh, or the shaman weapons as well. It'll be pretty much the same thing. Now let's check Lungsam, which is called Coast Forest in the teleporter. And now it's from level 60, which hasn't changed. So now we've been teleported in the middle of the map at the teleporter. So what change has been done to this map is the level, amount and difficulty has been changed. And I honestly kind of noticed the difficulty has been changed and the levels as well. Because I remember these triads were on level 75. So I've noticed the difficulty has been changed a bit. Now the mobs deal more damage to you. So you kind of need an earth talisman as well. At the moment I don't have any earth talisman. However, I can kill them quite fast. So this is the way that we got teleported on that area. So we came across the bridge, the first bridge. And as soon as we climb up here, we'll notice there's a new bridge build. We usually would have to go around here and just go in a maze until we get to the end. So we can skip the whole thing by just going on this first bridge. So that's in the middle of the map around here. I noticed that the mobs deal so much more damage now than they used to. You're like now you need art resistance here. Otherwise in the past it would have been easier to kill the mobs. I'm using decent equipment now with alchemy activated. However, the damage is still the same. I deal the same damage that I used to do in the past that I remember. But now the mobs deal so much more damage. So if you want to keep using this map, make sure you just build your character around earth resistance. These are earth, all earth resistance. It's still an easy map, but now it's, it's not going to be easy for a level 35 account or 55. Because now a character like that will need better alchemy as well. Alright, so a new adjustment has been done to the land of giants and snake field. And this is the alchemy that I have. Okay, Ruby has expired, unfortunately. However, we can test it regardless because this map is so much easier map. And I've noticed the mobs are very easy to kill now. And I believe a new meta will be built around this map and the land of giants since the mobs are so easy to kill now. I feel like if we get capes and a level 70 account, not a 35, since the change has been done, now only level 70 accounts will be able to drop on OK. Like OK event. I'm not quite sure on the other ones though. Like Halloween or different ones. I hope the Halloween will stay the same. But OK ones, you'll need level 70 account. And this is the Land of Giants. So let's test it with a level 35 character. This is the equipment that I'm going to use. So a few lighting, not much. Just 10. 10 lighting pretty much. I feel like it'll be a basic equipment this one that I have. Not that fantastic. And alchemy, of course, the ruby expired. And this will be the best spot around. To just use capes and format events. It'll be really good, honestly. So it kind of dies, you know. I wouldn't suggest doing with a level 35 with an expired alchemy. However, this will be a, the best spot to do during events. By the level 35, unfortunately, it's not ready for this one. It doesn't have much lighting. So let me try with the level 75, which I'm quite sure will be much better. So if you go around here, the mobs are actually attack you automatically. So you don't even need capes. Could be used for different events, as I said. And this will be for a level 75, the best. It will be the best spot to do it. I'm not even using alchemy, as you can see. No alchemy at all. And the mobs are just melting. So the difference is having a level 75 around here will be the best. Even on auto hunting, honestly. You just set it auto hunting and it farms events. But let me see the experience because this was supposed to be for experience, right? So this would be the experience without any boosts. Let me see the boosting. Experience 0%. So I'll test it a bit in Grotto as well and see the difference. And let's see Grotto as well. Much higher. People. So it's definitely not going to be something from level 75 above. I'm not quite sure how that map is going to be used for leveling though. Maybe from a level 35 to 75 instead of going to SD2 or SD3. But I don't see a reason why would you do that. So I think that map, the Land of Giants, is going to be used just for events. That's the whole purpose for that map at the moment. Alright, so now for the research purposes, I will try to test the Yang drop around this map. We already know that the experience is not great on these maps, so we're going to remove it. Currently, this is the equipment that I'm going to use for the Yang drop test. I will try to test the Land of Chance versus Catacombs. So this is the equipment that I'm going to use on this map at the moment. This is uh, the helmet, Talisman, just a quick briefing. 
can check it. I'm going to use the Yang items on all of the items that I can use. So it's going to be the wooden shoes, the necklace and the shield, the Yang drop, which is going to be 60%. And let's not forget about the item shop. For the moment, I'm going to use the bronze box because it offers a third hand and lucky medal. Okay, so let's start in this spot. I'm going to leave it for 10 minutes and let's see how much Yang is going to drop. I'm not going to use any out of swords, any boosters. I'm going to leave it auto hunting for free. So let's see if I've showed you how much lighting I have. I have 62 lighting and all the items have 20% Yang. So it's going to be shoes, necklace, shield, and of course the third hand and the double Yang drop from the item shop. All right, and 10 minutes have been passed. So at the beginning, I started with 713k, and now we have 820. The drop of Yang is very bad. Let me test Red Forest as well and see the Yang drop on this one. Because all of these maps have been increased the Yang, or adjusted at least. But this one drops around, around 700, and the big drop is like 2k. It's definitely better, but would it be feasible? Auto hunt here for the Yang drop. So I believe it's not worth it. So the Yang drop, it's fall out of the question around here as well. Because the mobs are spawning very slow. So it's not feasible to auto hunt here for the Yang either. So I'm going to leave you for 10 minutes around here. We're going to start at 1.945, let's say. And go. And 10 minutes has just passed. Before we had 1.945 minus 2.188, which is 243k for 10 minutes. Not bad. The 243k 10 minutes in Catacombs pretty much beats all the other maps, even though it has been nerfed hardly. But it's still not worth it to be honest if you put it that way it's not worth it at all if you don't have to actually call your pets anymore so as soon as you change the maps so let's go in the bazaar so my pets have been activated and i don't have to activate them again as soon as i change maps or log out so let's log out as well in the same time all the pets are active at the moment changing channels right logging in quickly and the pets are still active automatically also, the cap for trading directly with other players has been increased to 100 mil. But if the player has more than 2 billion in the inventory, you cannot exceed it. So it's still 2 billion cap for Yang. However, for the ones has been changed. And we can actually check it in a couple of shops, which a lot of items have appeared at the moment. So if you check it at the end, you'll notice a lot of items have appeared, which are cost more than 999. But if you check the trading as well, with other players, we can actually send more than 9 million. We can just put the ones as well and put 3,000. But we don't have, obviously. Unfortunately, we don't have the ones for that, but we can put the Yang only. So it's ones and Yang. It's going to be 3,000 under 100 million. Now we can actually buy 200 of each. However, don't buy the Dragon Tongues. I don't I see a reason why would you want to buy these ones. Or you're going to remove all the alchemy 200 times? Probably not. Thank you so much for watching so far. If you have any complaints about the new update or any opinions, please let me know in the comments. I'll be curious to hear about it. What do you think about this new update and what do you enjoy the most? What do you hate the most? You know, I'd like to hear that one as well. So anyway, I'll see you next time.